Hey, Melissa. Hey, friends. Thank you for joining me today on my small little um, YouTube channel. I am looking a hot mess today. I don't know if that's all that noticeable on the screen or not, um, but my eye makeup is like way down underneath my eyes because I had a headache earlier this morning. I actually woke up with a headache and I took a nap in the middle of the day because that's what you can do when you work from home. So over my lunchtime today, I took a nap and laid down and woke up and my headache was gone. So uh, amen to that. But now I'm paying the cost because all my makeup is smeared. Well, but the good thing and the happy thing is when I looked out on my porch today, I had my BoxyCharm for the month. This is BoxyCharm. This is the premium box for the month of July. And I'm excited. I have seen a couple of videos this month on YouTube from BoxyCharm subscribers, and uh, they haven't been that thrilled with their boxes. Um, so I'm excited to see what is in my box. For those of you that aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a um, subscription service. They have different levels of subscription. I get a $35 box a month, and I think it promises to have six full-time, not full-time, not full-time, full-size um, beauty, skin care, hair care, health care items in it. Um, even sometimes you get an appliance like a little curling iron or flat iron or something. But it is a, a, a neat thing. It's kind of um, a surprise because a lot of times you don't know what all you're getting. And I'm not good about going out and making my selections each month. You can select some of the items that you get each month in your box. Uh, but I'm not good at remembering what days to do that. So I just kind of leave it up to fate as to what boxes that I will receive. It looks like a very thin box this month. So, hmm. Okay. All right. We'll see. So this must be a special box because of the inside. It is the BoxyCharm Premium Box Plus. Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nice. I like Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it is a box um, for them. I'm going to grab my glasses so I can read off about these items and we will go and hit it right now. So the first item I see is a dewy set setting spray. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, of course. It is retail value $26. It is a setting spray uh, that is coconut and vanilla scented, and it seamlessly blends products together as it sets your makeup, leaving the complexion with a dewy but never oily uh, look, radiant finish. The gentle mist is ideal for those with dry skin or those who want to achieve the ultimate dewy glow. Okay, so I don't, you know, I don't use a setting mist very often, often um, because I forget about it, to be honest with you. It was just not a product that we had growing up when I first started learning how to use makeup. And so it's not something that is important to me. And I will say, this bottle is a nightmare to get into. Huh. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use this. It looks like it slides. I don't know if you can see this. It's Here's the, the nozzle, okay? It looks like you're supposed to slide over this way and then you would be able to pump it and spray it, but it won't slide over. All right, I might have to. It doesn't look like there's any directions on how to do it either. All right, well, it may be a useless product if I can't get it to work. I can't get it to slide over. That would not be fun. All 
Uh, oh, well. You don't slide the button, you slide the cap back and forth. Now I feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> because I couldn't figure that out and because I just sprayed it in my mouth. Okay. A lot of that comes out at a time. Um, it smells good. It smells like summertime. It may not be something that I use a great deal of. And it actually kind of tastes okay once you get over the initial shock of it being in your mouth. So, all right, next item. Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil. This is a hydrating oil. It's a lightweight blend of Mediterranean botanical extracts that deliver antioxidants and nourishing hydration to your skin. This is a complexion boosting facial oil. It leaves you with a glowing and radiant skin. And it softens fine lines and improves tone and texture. Okay, so this is like in a medicine bottle. It's a glass bottle with a dropper. It is a clear, well, it might have a little tint to it. Clear oil. Oh, it feels good. My skin just soaked that up right on a jiffy. It has a little bit of a woodsy smell, like tea tree oil a little bit, like a tea tree oil or rosemary. It smells herbaceous. It doesn't smell floral at all. It is more of a herbaceous, um, woodsy scented oil, but it's not very strong once you, you know, work it in your skin. And it feels good. It feels good on your skin. And as you can see, it doesn't leave like shiny residue. My skin, I have dry skin and it just soaked that up completely. So that's really nice. I like that. Okay, so Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighting Powder. This is a shimmering loose highlighting powder with a highly reflective iridescent pearls that deliver an intense sparkly payoff. It's an easy to blend formula that has a soft velvety texture and leaves you with a silky finish, like a loose powder version of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. And mine is in a color Peach Fizz. All right, it has a seal on it. I am not gonna open this up right now, but you can see on the side, the color, it, it is peach. It has a lot of gold um, undertones in it. I don't imagine that it's gonna go on that dark um, because it is a highlighting powder. But since I just opened a new highlighting powder from Laura Mercier, I'm going to put this away and save it for another day. Retail value on this is $25. Retail value on the oil is $45. I forgot to mention that. Okay, another products. Two more products, a C, let's see. Anastasia Beverly Hill Hills Clear Brow Gel. It's a clear gel that's lightweight, clear eyebrow gel that sets color and holds brow hair in place for a clean, polished look. Yes, 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 yes. Retail value, $22. I need this. I have, um, I have unruly brows. I have pretty decent eyebrows, 
but they are a bit unruly. So I am definitely going to be using this immediately uh, on my eyebrows because that is definitely something that I will get a lot of use out of. And then retail value on that is $20, $22. And then we have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Dual Indel Shadow Brush. Retail value $16. Is compact and perfect for on-the-go application. It's a synthetic brush that allows you to deposit color and highlight and pack shadows with the flat end. So it's kind of a small size, but I can see where it was a good, good tool to have in your arsenal. Also good to have in your um, go bag. Uh, or travel bag because of the size. And then last but not least, this is the product from Norvina. I've never heard of Norvina. Maybe it's just me, but it looks like it's going to be a palette. It's in a cardboard box. So it's packed quite nicely. Ooh, okay. It's inside. It's a purple box by Norvina. This is the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. It is a professional grade artistry palette featuring 25 deluxe size high performance shades for maximum payoff. Expand your Norvana collection with this limited edition Pro Palette and create the most artistic makeup looks yet. Okay. Oh my. It is quite colorful. If you can see all of those. Okay. I'm trying to find a good way to hold this up without getting my fingers in all of the pans. Okay, here we go. All right, now these, this retail value on this is $60. I could see this being $60 because there's a lot of colors here. And I do see, you know, a lot of these are quite bold, especially these up here. They're really bold colors. Uh, they're much brighter than they appear on camera. And even this one over here. But like some of these down in here, some of the purples and the mauve colors, I think are going to be good. Even the pink, even though that is a bold pink, I could see that being good with a um, with a, a color with some of these purpley colors and kind of the purpley pink colors. And then the darker colors could be used to smoke out the eye. And then you have some like the real bright. That is a very bright white. Um, that uh, could be, depending on how white and translucent it is, it could be good for all over your eyebrow or it could be good for highlighting. Um, I'm not sure how saturated the color is, but this comes with a warning that some of the colors are not recommended to be used around the immediate eye area, okay? Now it says A2, A3, A5. I'm trying to see if there's any rhyme or reason. B1, B3. B4, B5. I thought it would just be the shimmer colors, but it's not. It's actually some of the matte colors too. So it's an eyeshadow palette. Well, it doesn't say eyeshadow palette.
it just says pigment palette. Okay, if you're not using it for eyeshadows, I don't know what you would be using it as, unless you are a professional makeup artist and you um, create your own colors. But yeah, it does come with the warning in that puns A2, A3, A5, B1, B3, B4, B5, C4, C5, D2, D3, D4, D5, E1, and E2, and E5 are not intended for use around the immediate eye. That is like half the palette right there. And there's really no rhyme or reason because it's a combination of mattes and shimmers. So it doesn't say why it's not recommended around the eye, just that it's not. And recommended in the immediate eye area. So use at your own risk. That took some of the joy out of that palette for me, actually. I'm glad that they gave a warning because I'm sure there have been other products over the years that probably needed a warning, but to have so many that they're saying they're not recommending it around the immediate eye area, what does that mean? Does it mean don't line your waterline with these? Does it mean not to use them, you know, immediately under your eye to smoke out your eye as a liner? Don't use them on your eyelids. What does it mean not to use around the immediate eye? Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see 105, 130, 152, 178, 188. 194. $194 value in this month's box, including the Norvina palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow, $22, definitely will use that. The oil, I will definitely use that. So these products right here cover the cost, more than cover the cost of the box. Uh, the highlighting powder, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use that right now, that I'm going to stow away. And then the dewy set, which I may or may not use. We'll see. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. So I didn't lose money this month on this box. I am, I am a little disappointed in, in the Norvina palette. I'm going to box it up for now and because uh, this may be a good gift to give to one of my nieces for Christmas along with this little tidbit here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and put it back in its box. And with that, I bid you a happy weekend. It is Friday, and I don't know about you, but I am glad it's Friday. It's been a long week, and I am excited that I have a weekend here to get my house cleaned, and even more excited that I'm taking next Friday off, and my sweet nephew, well, my sweet sister and brother-in-law are coming with my nephew and his wife that are also very sweet. And their uh, two children who are two and a half and one and a half. And they are just bring so much joy into life. And I am so excited that they're coming to visit next weekend. So it's gonna be a fun week waiting for them to come. And I just wanted to uh, wish you a happy weekend as well. And I hope you have fun things in store for next week as well. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.